Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's quick video, I'll show you how I convert a PDF file that doesn't see any text to one that recognizes text using the Adobe Scan app. So I have to read a lot of PDFs for my grad school program. What I like to do is pull them into the Goodreader app on my iPad and then highlight, comment, and annotate away. Sometimes though, I will pull in a PDF and find that none of the Goodreader annotation features work because the PDF isn't recognizing any of the text in the document. It's just treating that text like an image. So this happened recently with a 33 page document. I really like to be able to highlight passages while I'm reading a PDF since I save all of those highlighted bits in a spreadsheet. So you can see my video on that if you're interested. So I tried a bunch of options and apps. One offered to convert PDFs to Word documents, but it just made each page an image within the Word document, so that didn't help my text recognition problem. A couple of apps, probably made by the same sketchy company, were free to download, but then threatened to take multiple hours to convert your file unless you paid a $10 fee. No thanks. So I ended up using an app that I already love, Adobe Scan. It took a little labor, but not too much for a 33-page file, and the text recognition was done right. Adobe Scan is my favorite scanner app, or photo to PDF app. It's quick, it has nice features, and it does a great job with OCR, or optical character recognition. I don't have to do nearly as much text cleanup as I've had to do with other apps. It does not, however, have the ability to download a 33-page PDF file and do full text recognition on it. It only accepts photos as input. But here's the thing. The document is already on my iPad, where screenshots are super easy, and screenshotting actually allows me to arrange the pages a little better for reading if they are askew from scanning. So, taking 33 pages worth of screenshots only took me a couple of minutes using the Goodreader app. So once I did that, I opened Adobe Scan, and I chose um, Saved Photo rather than the Camera option, and then navigated to my camera roll by hitting Show All Photos. So there they all are. Okay, now Adobe Scan allows you to choose the pages in order of how you want them in your PDF. So one thing to note is that the app will only do text recognition on documents that are 25 pages or less. So I split this document and did one document with 25 pages and a second document that contained eight pages. So once I selected them in the order that I wanted them to appear in my PDF, I hit done. On this screen, I can name the file. I'm gonna call this one PDF1. And then I'm gonna hit save PDF. So the first thing Adobe Scan is going to do is upload the file to the cloud, and then it will begin text recognition. So it's nice it tells you what it's doing um, right here. So please note that recognizing text could take several minutes for a long PDF file. So you're going to know that it's finished because it will have just the date rather than the status. So once it is finished, I'm going to hit share, then share the file, then choose to open it in Goodreader, but you can choose whatever PDF viewer you like the best. So now in Goodreader, when I attempt to use a highlighting or a text annotation feature, it recognizes the text. You can see that in a, um, a document without text recognized, it gives me a much more limited menu and I can't select any text. So it takes a little doing, but is vastly preferable to the alternative, which is typing in every single quote manually into my spreadsheet. The couple of minutes it took to create this text recognized PDF ended up saving me a lot of work in the end. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.